things I shouldn't know. I got secrets. Good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper of the Day. It is Thursday, December 7th, and guess what we got? We got another heavy dark pool level in this 456 area. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this, you guys, where we've gone completely sideways and they're just massively doing these levels. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna absolutely watch it for the day trade today. Bullish above 456.50, bear below 453. All right, for the SPY, let's uh, check out the IWM. And guess what we got on the IWM? We also got a heavy dark pool level on the Russell. Yeah, look at that. 2 million at 184.28. So that is getting heavier. Today we're gonna be bullish above 185.50, bear below 182.50. And let's check out the QQQs. Guess what we got? We also got a heavy dark pool level. Check this out, lit up in blue, 387.15, 3 million. So we're gonna be bullish above 387, bear below 385.50, but wait, there's more. The DIA, guess what we got? A heavy dark pool level. Look at that, 1.1 million. We don't normally get heavy levels. We got one on December 1st, which I put out in the insights. And uh, yeah, we got another one, you guys. So this is getting heavy, really heavy. All right, let's check out the E-minis. Now, if they're buying, just to go back to the SPY, if they're buying here on the SPY, we could go up to like 470. 4, 480 if they're buying. If they're selling, we're probably going to go down to 438, 430. So keep that in mind. Be prepared on both, both sides. All right. Are we going to have that big Christmas rally or are we going to have a Christmas crash? Patience. All right. E minis bullish above 4570, bear below 4550 for the E minis. Let's check out the NASDAQ futures. Bullish above 15,900, bear below 15,725. And now let's check out oil. Yeah, oil was a week yesterday. Yeah, it's trying to rebound and stay above 70 here. Bullish above 70.50 for the oil futures, bear below 69.50. Let's check out and see what uh, gold is doing. Hold on. Gold is hanging on, you guys. We got a lot of dark pool activity yesterday on gold in the alert tab, you'll see that. Yeah, are they buying more? We're gonna go to the moon? Or are they selling, taking profits, and we're gonna have a pullback? So bullish above 2055, bear below 2037 and 50 cents for these gold futures. Yeah, so far, holding up strong today. Check out uh, Bitcoin, taking a breath maybe, maybe not. I don't know, we'll see. We had a lot of pivots above us. Yeah, I kind of had to go higher today. Bullish above 44,000, I went up above here, 600. Um, yeah, this could have a pullback today. Bear below 43,250, I went below here. So I really went, you know, pretty wide, uh, big no trading zone. All right, for me, it's a tough area to trade. Let's check out the individual stocks. RIVN, it's one of our recommendations in the Dark Pool Insights Plus, you guys. It's moving. Yeah, we may uh, be taking profit soon. Bullish above 19 for the day trade. We're right there. I can see a seller lined up on EdgeX and the ARCA book. Bear below 17.80. Okay, let's uh, check out Mara, which has been uh, an amazing trade for us. Is it getting a little bit tired? Maybe. It retraced back to the 4 EMA. We're going to be bullish above 1606. There's a little pivot in the way, or else I would have picked 16. Uh, and bear below 1480 for this uh, retrace. 
Okay, that's our downward trade. Uh, let's check out NEO was a good one yesterday. We've had a lot of dark pool activity on it. Is it splashing? Well, I don't know, but I'm gonna be bullish above eight today. 820 is another really good level. Bear below seven. Let's check out AMD. We've had a lot of dark pool activity on AMD as well. Um, I'm gonna be bullish above 121. There's a dark pool print at 121.82. So uber bullish above 122. But we also have another dark pool level at 119.29. So I'm gonna be bearish below 117. All right, if we can close above those two dark pool levels, that'll be a great swing to take overnight. Let's check out Google. All right, Google, the chart looked really good. The daily chart that is, bullish above 134.52 and bear below 131.99. All right, there's a little pivot in the way or else I would've used that 50 level. JetBlue, look at that. First come the prints and then come the, uh, the news, the upgrades, the whatever. Um, yeah, we're just gonna follow those prints. Bullish above 506 today, that already triggered. 525 is the next level. Yeah, watch out, you know, this is my target because we have the 100 simple moving average. Yeah, once we go hit it, pull back that second move here, that's the big pocket for the second trade. Right now that first trade is, is happening. All right, let's uh, bear below 449, by the way. All right, AI had uh, earnings. It had prints first though, right? Uh-huh, prints always come first. Bullish above 27 for a retrace today and uh, bear below 25.75. And by the way, these were all those dark pull prints. Uh, let's check out Apple. All right, Apple, bullish above 193.25 today, bear below 190.80. Yeah, I wanted to go below this last dark pull print to be bear below. And Chewy, yeah, Chewy had prints as well. Mm-hmm. And now it had, uh, yeah, not so great earnings. Bullish above 17.50 looking at this trade right here. All right, for that retrace, or we're going much lower, bear below 1680. There you have it. Those are your whispers for Thursday, December 7th. Until next time, happy trading, everybody. My secret